going off all day long Markets looking really red All eyes on the fucking Fed And Gensler's bullshit In the dark there shines a light Trump released the crypto bulls Taking Biden back to school He's crypto's hero First of all, this is Robert Mao's page. Um, he's the CEO of Art Block. And I just want to post, play this clip for you guys because it's important. I don't really get too political on my page, probably lose subscribers, but it's important. You know, if you hold cryptocurrencies, guys, the D Democrats, Biden does not want you to, to be successful. He does not want you to break away from the fucking system. You know what I mean? Trump, just let me play this, you know. They are against it. The Biden, uh, Biden doesn't even know what it is. If you ask Biden, <laughs> sir, are you for or against crypto? What's that? What the? Get me off the stage. <laughs> He's saying, get me off the stage. No, he has no idea. But uh, look, Gensler is very much against it. The Democrats are very much against it. And I say this, uh, a lot of people are very much for it. Probably a lot of the people in this group. Uh, and I'm fine with it. I want to make sure it's good and solid and everything else, but I'm good with it. And uh, if you want, if you like crypto in any form, and it comes in a lot of different forms, if you're uh, in favor of crypto, you better vote for Trump. They are against it. The Biden, uh, Biden doesn't. Hey, one more time for Trump. You know what I'm saying? Biden wants to keep us poor. Really, really fucking poor. Spend everybody's money. He wants to take all your fucking money, raise taxes, and keep you poor. Hmm. Easy choice for me, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. I'm going to go through his Twitter because he's got a lot. He's posted a lot. He posts a lot, guys. Robert Mao is very active on Twitter. Um, yeah, and he on here, he was even saying that he lost some followers because of... Um, let's, let me just read this real quick. I'll see how many followers will leave because of this message. I already got angry or disappointment and death direct messages. But if you know me before, I'm a Republican and I voted and donate for Trump all the time. I would not care if you unfollow or even not support my business. Hey. <laughs> Sir, thank you, Robert. Robert, someone's got to stand up to this shit. A lot of people that are Republicans are getting backlash and pushback. For what, though? Why are we all getting pushback? You know? I feel like my channel is probably going to be fucking blackballed now. Because I'm saying this stuff. Um, but, guys, it's true. You know, look, uh, Robert Mao is donating to Trump's campaign. Why? Because he, Trump wants businesses to stay in fucking uh, America. Yeah. Biden's administration is pushing them overseas, guys. Look at Gensler. Before we had Gensler, and under Trump's administration, there was a different guy. I can't remember his name because I wasn't as big into the shit as I am now. But I do remember... And they declared Bitcoin and Ethereum not a fucking security. Okay? Then what happened? This whole clusterfuck comes along, printing money, fucking shit up. Look how expensive stuff is, guys. Things were not like this. Look what happened. Look, look at the track that Trump had us on was the right path. Whether you say the whatever, oh, orange man, bad, I don't like him. Who cares? He's going to take better care of you and your family than Biden. It's a simple choice. Anybody arguing this shit is just like... You're not financially literate, bro. Because you're literally voting to keep yourself poor. If you vote for uh, Biden. I'm just being honest, guys. Especially if you hold cryptocurrency. You're pooping on yourself. You are voting. It's like taking pizzas of a pizza. You have a whole pizza. That's what your crypto portfolio is right now. You vote for Biden. You got two slices left out of a fucking 12 slice pizza. Yeah, good job, buddy. You played yourself. Um, you know? Or you could vote for Trump and fucking... You know, see a lot of multipliers because he's, let me just say, play this, what he was talking about on the, let me just play this real quick. I don't mean to get too political, but 
Thank you for the statement. Yeah, with the goggles on. Uh, a lot of the smartest people in crypto are moving their businesses out of the U.S. because they're scared of like uh, the U.S.'s regulations. Because of the hostility. Correct. Yeah, so, crypto is moving out of the U.S. because of hostility toward crypto. Correct. So what are you going to do to stop it? Well, we'll stop it because I don't want that. I don't want that. I want that. If we're going to embrace it, we have to let them be here. Yes, sir. <laughs> that, look, that kid looks crazy, man. But, um, guys, I mean, what else can I say? Like, it's kind of obvious what you need to do when you need to go to the polls this year. If you hold any cryptocurrencies, you're big on Bitcoin, and you don't believe in the current financial system that we're in, this is fucking important, guys, you know? Time to wake up, ding, ding, ding. you know? I feel like it's going to be a big red wave this year because a lot of these Democrats that voted for Biden don't even like where we're at right now, you know? And it just doesn't make sense. Why is fucking my rent $2,000? Why is gas almost $4 again? What the fuck, buddy? You know, I sure miss some $1.79 gas and mean tweets right about now. <laughs> you know? Whole fucking world thinks we're a joke, buddy. Anyways. Yeah, let me talk about some ABT real quick. Some people tell me our block is not stable. Study the tokenomics. You actually need this token to build and, prov and provides even more rewards and tokens when you build something that's used or when you prevent or even mint your NFT. Yeah, guys. Okay, so you have to use um, ABT tokens to build on Agen. I was saying it wrong this whole time. It's a I was saying Agni because that's what it looks like, but it's pronounced Agen. So, you know, <laughs> jokes on me, guys. I've been saying it wrong for like a fucking months now. I've been talking about Arc Block on this channel since it was well under a dollar, guys. Like, I've been buying it since seven cents. So, all these new people talking about Arc Block, whatever, dude. Like, you know, <clears throat> I've been on this shit, bro. Let me see what up here. There's actually a video of this guy building an application on Agent, and I kind of want to. Here it is. Yeah, look, he, Robert Mao reshared it. He said, amazing work. <laughs> All right, but let me just play this for you guys because this is actually, this is actually very, uh, hold on. Let me just see. How do I like freaking, okay. Pumped on this. Um, I've already used it to build a worksheet generator. Okay, super easy. Only took a, watched a video. Took me a couple minutes to build this. But basically, like, um, so I homeschool my kids, and a lot of times I have to come up with worksheets, and uh, it can be difficult sometimes. As easy as that sounds, it can be difficult to find a worksheet on a specific subject, okay? And then have the answer key to it. So I wanted to create an app that I could uh, make a worksheet with quickly, wherever I'm at. And other people can use this same app, right? So basically, it just came in here. I, I uh, Like I said, I watched a couple Robert Mouse videos. How to put this together it took me a couple minutes and then uh bam this is what it is so far it's generic so far but i want to show it this is my work this is the worksheet generator this is my app okay look at it. create worksheets in seconds create a grade and topic specific worksheet so look at there's third grade north america that's what was just default in there but let's say uh south america south america okay so you would just type in the grade and the subject and then generate your worksheet. Boom. What is the largest country in South America? What? Here's my worksheet. 10 questions, has answers at the bottom. This is so sick. Arc block, let's go. Guys, that's fucking crazy, you know? Yo, what's up, 12 is profit. Uh, like, honestly, this is groundbreaking shit, realistically, guys. Um, let me see what else he has on here. Um, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, apparently they're they're doing a lot of work with Google now. Guys, they're moving up in the fucking in the in the food chain. You know what I mean? Everything else. They're just sliding right on by it like it ain't shit. Um, yeah, here's some other things that people have been saying about Art Block on Twitter. You could buy $2,000 of Art Block, forget about it, and have 100000 by the end of the year. 
Or this guy says maybe even 680,000. Bro, I, if that's the case, I'll be a multimillionaire, bro. Um, yeah, you know? <laughs> I'm feeling bullish, guys. I just wanted to make this video despite we're dumping right now. This is like honestly a good time to finish loading up, you know? Really. You guys need to stop sleeping on this shit. Um, there's something I want to talk about also about the economy. I might just have to play this little clip real quick. Really? Is this thing really in my face? Okay. Let me just play this real quick. The number of Americans filing new claims for unemployment benefits rose last week to the highest level in more than eight months. Further evidence that the labor market is cooling. The weekly jobless claims report from the Labor Department on Thursday is considered the most timely data on the health of the economy. It follows reports last week which showed the economy added the fewest jobs in six months in April, while job openings dropped to a three-year low in March. Guys, One economist good. tells Reuters the data hints at caution on the part Great of companies cuts. as they weigh the outlook for the second half of the year. Expectations for an interest rate cut from the Federal Reserve at its September policy meeting rose slightly to 50% after the release of weekly jobless claims, according to the CME FedWatch tool. The Fed last week left its benchmark overnight interest rate unchanged. Initial claims for state unemployment benefits increased 22,000 to a seasonally adjusted 231,000 for the week ending May 4th, the highest level since the end of last August. Okay, guys, so basically, um, the economy is slowing. The Fed wants to see this. That means that, like I told you, the bench press analogy. Okay, these guys are bench pressing. They've been bench pressing for a while. They've been going steady, you know? You know? And the Fed has been reducing the balance sheet, pulling weights off the bench press, essentially. Um, I don't know how else to kind of break that down, but um, America's getting tired now. And now it's time for them to, they're, they're starting to stack more weights on there because they're trying to prop the economy up for the fucking election year. They're going to have to fucking, you know, he's tired. America's tired. They can't put more plates on right now. They have to cut rates. And America needs a break. They need some, you know. They're not, guys, this is what the Fed wants to fucking see. They want to see a struggle, a sign of slowing economy. That is just signaling the low fucking rate cuts. And we also have a big week next week, guys. Big old week. Um, <clears throat> Monday, not pretty much a nothing burger. But Tuesday... The PPI, core PPI and PPI year over year. Guys, it's the producer price index. This is a fucking, this and the CPI. Um, th we got the bad jobless, or initial jobless uh, claims. That was bad, which is good as far as what we want to see for rate cuts and shit. We want to see a good PPI. We want to see signs of, not the ones we've been seeing. You know, it's going to be, it's, <laughs> The Fed's in a, you know, they're, they're still going to probably cut rates because the Europe and them have already been cutting. Hey, guys, we're, we're, we're so close, you know. Uh, honestly. And I was looking at Alchemy Pay's stuff a little today. Just look at all these fucking partnerships, dude. Holy shit. This, I don't know if you guys know much about uh, Alchemy Pay. They're down quite a bit from their local high. It was like over five cents. And they're like back under their two cent range. Um, guys, I think Alchemy Pay is probably going to hit well above a dollar, probably a dollar fifty. Um, it's, it's going to be a fucking juggernaut. Two cents right now. Look at all these partnerships. And they're always adding shit every day. You know, every day I look on here, adding shit. They've been building a lot in the bear market. This is definitely a project <clears throat> you might want to put on your watch list, guys. Um, I didn't really mean to talk about it, but I, it just popped up because I was looking at their Twitter. Um, let me see the CME Fed Watch tool. I'm not sure why the ease went back down to 3.5 percent. It was at eight last video I made, like 8.8 percent .8 or something. Um, we don't really have to worry about any hiking at this point. Um, I'm surprised it went down instead of up after that last job data. But yeah, we got a big week for the market next week, guys. Keep your head cool. We could move sideways for a while, you know? Don't get fudded out. Right before we fucking launch.
Don't sell your bags, bro. Basically, you know? But I did fix my old Chevy truck, though. I fixed the transmission in it, at least. And it's back. It's in the parking lot. The motherfucker been sitting for a while, guys. I'm, I moved here from Virginia to North Carolina like a year ago. My transmission broke on the way down here. And I've, ever since I moved into Raleigh, it's been a fucking... Man, like everybody wants a scam. And that city life is different, buddy. Dog eat dog out here, boy. Crazy, man. Yeah, but I had a good day today, guys. I went to the, after work, went to go look for stones and stuff at the creek. Thought I might find Lucky and strike gold, boy. <laughs> Probably not around here. But uh, anyways, guys, if you're getting any value from me, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, I don't really know. I guess that's about it. Let me Actually, let me talk about this real quick. Um, there's a lot of liquidations today at 34 million <clears throat> the longs got liquidated there's like a Bitcoin drop like 2% in an hour but guys usually after this days like these we see green candles you know and they're talking about some people on here are talking about we might go back to the 52 55k range that would destroy all coins you know that would just be like a fucking but if that does happen I feel like that's max pain type shit and then that would definitely be the bottom of this correction that we're in um really guys we've just been ranging between 60 and 60,000 and 65,000 for like a while now um you know we're due for either breaking above or below that it's kind of like coiling up for a move we really you just gotta wait and see on this data this job data and you guys gotta always keep in mind this is election year it's election year it's a fucking election year don't let the news fudge you out and sell life-changing fucking games for fucking jump change, bro. Yeah, don't sell life-changing ch money for jump change right now because you will fucking regret it. Really be pissed the fuck off when our block hits 350. <laughs> not like 350, not 350. I don't know if it's going to go out of this cycle, but god damn, boy. That would be nice. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get off here. I'm getting late. Might have to work tomorrow. I would like to. So I can pay for the, my expensive ass insurance. Alright, y'all. Hold down the fort. Respect the fucking dump. I'm serious, man. What? I'll tell you again. Respect the dump. This is how you make money in the market, guys. You don't chase pumps, you chase dumps. When I say respect the dump, build your portfolio. Don't be a little pussy, you know? You see it down. Fuck, our block was down to 277, buddy. You should have been like this. You know? LCX, 27 cents. You know, Fox token, down fucking 10% earlier. You know? All that shit, buddy. Be even Bitcoin, man. Fuck. You know, I load it. That's how you build your fucking portfolio, dude. You don't chase pumps. When it's scary and everybody's selling and the longs are getting liquidated, smash the fucking buy button, buddy. You know? <laughs> Hello, it's a bull market. Wait the fuck up. This is time to buy the dips. Because shit's about to really start taking off, guys. This is where you really, if you haven't packed your bags yet, this is the time you want to keep, this is the time you want to unload. Because when these altcoins start moving again, when these prices ain't going to be around, especially for fucking arc block. Probably going to be a double digit uh, number here soon. We've climbed up. We had our Cardano's bull run from 2020 and 2021. That whole year, year and a half bull run of Cardano, the same gains mashed into like two and a half, three months in arc block. Fucking crazy, bro. You know? And we're getting ready for the next leg up, boy. We're getting ready. We're, we're about to get out the matrix, boys. You know? Art blocks about to pump hard as fuck. About to fix my old Chevy truck. Oh, 
with them gains. They will take me for as fuck. Don't vote for Biden. All right, guys. Hold down the fort.